Hello everyone, and in this quick tutorial, you will learn how to make a pop-up model using React.js and Tailwind CSS. So let me demonstrate our project to you. So when we click this button, you can see that we have this pop-up model. We can close it by clicking this icon, or by clicking this button, or by clicking somewhere in this area. So let's get started. So here is how our structure looks like right now. It's very easy. So just take a look at it and let's continue. And as you can see here, I import this icon from React Icons Library. So make sure that you have React Icons Library installed or you can use some other icon instead of this. So let's get started. First, we need to declare a state. So let's say show model. Set show model and it will be false. Okay, so when it comes to this div on click, we should say that our show model should be true. So let's say set show model true. And next, let's say that when show model is true, we want to render the following. So let's apply some styles. But first, let's say hello here and let's start applying some styles. So our position will be fixed. Background color will be black, but with some opacity. So let's say 50. Then we want our mean height to be screen. Z index will be 10. So it will overlap all other elements, which will be screen. And then let's say flex just to center our content. Justify will be center. Items will be center. And let's say top will be zero and left will be zero as well. So now let's check. As you can see, here we have our hello. So it means that everything is working properly. And inside, instead of this hello, let's create a div and apply some styles. Let's say background color will be white, padding will be four. And inside, let's create another one and say, welcome back. And let's say, please sign in to access your account and explore all the amazing features we have to offer and under this p tag let's create two buttons so let's say sign in and let's say cancel for this one let's say background color will be blue 500 text will be white padding horizontally will be four vertically it will be two rounded and we hover our background color will be blue but this time it will be 600 now let's do the same for this button but this time let's make it to be gray 300 and gray 400. And let's apply some styles here. Let's say flex, flex will be column. Let's add some gap to be four or 16 pixels in other words. And let's say max width will be 400 pixels. So let's save it and see how it looks. This time it looks a bit better. Let's continue adding more styles so that everything will look even better. So here let's say text will be Excel and font will be bold. For this P tag, let's say text will be gray 700. And for these buttons, let's say flex gap will be four and margin top will be four as well. Let's see how it looks right now. It's much better. So now let's try to add icon here to close this pop-up model. So to do that, I'm gonna come here and say the following. I will say div and inside I need to get this icon. So here it is. Let's make its size to be 30. And on click, we want set show model to be false. And for this div, we need to find a parent that will be relative. Okay. So this one will be relative. This one will be relative. And here we can say absolute. Top will be two. And right will be two. So let's see whether it works or not. But before, let's also say cursor pointer. Let's save it and let's see whether it works or not. So as you can see, it is working perfectly fine. Now, when we click this button, I also want to close this model. It's very easy. All we need to do is to take this and put it here. Now it will work too. Okay, now I want to be able to close our pop-up model when I click outside of our div. To do that, we need to paste it here. So on click, we say set show model to be false. So let's save it and check. 
So when I click, you can see that it is working. But at the same time, if I click somewhere in this area, it is working as well. It happens because this div is inside of a bigger div which contains this div. So to prevent that, we can use stop propagation method. So stop propagation is a React event handler used to prevent an event from propagating up the DOM tree. So it is commonly used to handle model dropdowns or any UI components where parent and child elements have conflicting click behaviors so to prevent that all i need to do i need to find the correct div so here it is and i need to say the following on click stop propagation so let's save it and see what we have so now when i click somewhere here it is no longer working but if i for example click cancel it is working if i click this icon it is working and if i click somewhere in this area it is working so that's it guys, if you find this video helpful, please like the video and subscribe to my channel for more useful videos.